Hey guys, welcome to Kids Corner. Today I'm going to teach you about advanced calculus. April Fools. Today is April 1st, which if you didn't know means that today is April Fools Day. So our theme for today is going to be laughter, and we can't talk about laughter without starting with some cheesy jokes. So our first cheesy joke is, where do cows hang their paintings? The museum. <laughs> what time do ducks wake up? At the quack of dawn. How do bees get to school? They take the school buzz, of course. <laughs> Why did the lion spit out the clown? Because he tasted funny. <laughs> Why did the girl throw a stick of butter? She wanted to see a butterfly. <laughs> What's a cat's favorite color? Purple, of course. <laughs> what do you call a bear with no teeth? A gummy bear. <laughs> what does a panda ghost eat? Bamboo. What does the sun drink out of? Sunglasses. <laughs> That's the end of our cheesy jokes. So now it's time to move on to our message. <laughs> There's a woman in the Bible whose name is Sarah. You might know her husband, Abraham. God comes to Abraham one day and makes a covenant with him. A covenant is a promise. God makes this promise to Abraham that he is going to have a son. In fact, his descendants will be as numerous as the stars in the sky and that God will be their God and they will be God's people. And one day he comes to Abraham and he's talking with him and he says, about this time next year, I'm gonna come back and you'll have a son. And Abraham's wife, Sarah, is in the tent behind them and she overhears this conversation and starts laughing. Now, why would Sarah be laughing at this? Well, Sarah at this point is about 80 years old, not usually the age that women are having children. She doesn't think it's possible. She's gone her whole life being unable to have children and now in her 80s is her, is her moment to be a mother. So she laughs in disbelief at the seeming absurdity of all of it. It doesn't seem like something that could possibly happen. So she laughs. And God comes to her and he says, why were you laughing? And Sarah was like, I wasn't laughing. And God's like, you were though. So sure enough, she comes back. He comes back next year and Sarah has this son. And Sarah winds up naming her son Isaac. And the word Isaac means laughter. Now Isaac has a son named Jacob and Jacob has 12 sons and those 12 sons become the forefathers to the 12 tribes of Israel. So Isaac, laughter, is literally the grandfather to the 12 tribes of Israel, all of God's chosen people. How cool is that? There are a lot of different reasons why people laugh. Sometimes it's in disbelief. Like Sarah, sometimes we laugh because we find something funny, like the cheesy jokes, obviously. Well, I found them funny anyways. <laughs> but laughter is really good for us. It's good for the soul. It brings, it brings that joy that lives within us out to the surface. It kind of bubbles that joy out. So I wanna encourage you to find ways to laugh today, to, to find ways to, to bring that joy to the surface. Um, when Sarah was laughing in disbelief at God, God proved to her that even if there is something that seems completely impossible, there is nothing that is impossible for God. So if you're, if you're feeling today like laughter is kind of impossible, just know that nothing is impossible with God. So I encourage you to find some way to laugh. Watch a, watch a funny show, you know, t say some cheesy jokes with your family. I'll put a list of them up on our, our youth ministries website if you wanna go there and check out some of those cheesy jokes. You can share those for some laughter or make up some cheesy jokes of your own. But just find a way to do that today and enjoy your April Fools. <laughs> Bye guys.